Yo people, welcome back to another Premier League preview. This time it's game week 17. Some cracking games like Liverpool against Manchester United. And then, of course, tonight it's Forest against Tottenham Hotspur. But we'll come out of this, those games. Let's find out. The first game is, of course, Nottingham Forest against Tottenham Hotspur. Now, of course, Forest um, have only gotten a draw and a win in the last six games. And Tottenham, um, after that awful loss to West Ham where they didn't take their chances, have bounced back and destroyed Newcastle 4-1 at home. They go away to Nottingham Forest. And Mr. Steve Cooper is under lots of pressure. He needs to get a result here for Forrest. Because recent history show that they haven't beaten Tottenham since they have been in the Premier League last season. It was a 2-0 Tottenham. Um, I reckon it will be that again. 2-0 Tottenham. Um, I just think they will overrun New, uh, sorry, not New Castle Forest with the way they play. That's energetic style. Um, don't back down. Um, I would go more than 2 0, but because they usually miss a few chances, I'll just go with a 2 0 win. Then, of course, Saturday we go to the Vitality Stadium with Bournemouth taking on Luton Town. Of course, Luton took on Arsenal and Manchester City put up great performances but unlucky not to get to points or three points in both of those games while Bournemouth are on a big big run right now they beat Manchester United 3-0 um, and they have only they have only uh, the one loss in the last six. Um, so they are, are in fine form, Bournemouth. And I just think you can't go from a stage where you beat Manchester United for the first time at Old Trafford 3 0 um, and break, break records, then to go to at home, lose to Luton or draw. Um, no disrespect to Luton, but there's that, that's, it's a big contrast. So, I reckon 2 1 Bournemouth. I will give Luton a goal because um, we know Luton can score goals. We have seen it past couple of games. Next game is, of course, my beloved Chelsea take on Sheffield United at home. Now, I don't really have any hope for this game. Um, we are abysmal. Um, just lost 2 0 to Everton and made Manchester United look good. Where Bournemouth got, went to the same stadium, played the same team we did, and, and beat them 3 0. We just abysmal right now. Sheffield, new manager, Bounce just came off um, a win against Bournemouth at. Sorry, not Bournemouth, Brainford um, at home. So I reckon this one will be. Um, so it'll be a tight one. If we lose, there's got to be big, big questions asked. I'm not confident. I'll go with a 1-0 to Sheffield United. Um, Manchester City take on Crystal Palace. Now, a few seasons ago, we would have said Crystal Palace is Manchester City's bogey team. But I don't think they are, they are anymore. City, they... Getting back to their best, still midfield is a big problem for them, that midfield dynamic really. Um, Palace uh, put in a big shift against Liverpool, unlucky to not get a point. Uh, of course, late Harvey Elliott to win them. Um, I reckon City do it, they, they look to have that good balance um, right now. 
So I'm going to go with a 3-0 City. Um, could be a 2-0, but I reckon 3-0 City. Um, and then we move to Newcastle against Fulham. Now Newcastle, um, three losses on the bounce in all competitions. Um, lost to AC Milan, um, Eddie Al mistakes um, with the substitutions in, in that game. Fulham um, at the cottage, 5-0 um, wins uh, back to back. But of course they have been scoring goals of late. They scored three against Liverpool. There are no marks. Um, I think Fulham can get something there. Um, but it's at home for Newcastle. They don't usually lose at home, Newcastle. So I'll go with a free to Newcastle win. Um, then of course the late kickoff on Saturday, um, and the last game of Saturday, it's Everton against Burnley. Turf more tough place to go, um, and Burnley are starting to get some. Redham right now, um, got to win against Sheffield, then of course lost to Wolves away from home, only 1-0, drew with Brighton um, away from home, back at Turf Moor, but this is a high-flying Everton side, three wins on the spin, um, against Forest, Newcastle and Chelsea, so... I reckon this will be a tough, tougher game for them, um, but I'll go with a 2-1 Everton um, one. They should be able to pull a result off. Now we go to Sunday's game, and the first game is Arsenal against Brighton of Albion. Now, Brighton, they're starting to get some of their players back. Um, we'll, and there were still a few players in the game against, I think it was Marseille, um, if I'm not mistaken, but maybe wrong. So they, they have a few players coming back. Um, Arsenal, of course, lost to um, Aston Villa, but the feet were true with PSV, but they did rotate heavily. Um, Recent history, Brighton's record at the Emirates is really good. Of course, two seasons ago, they stopped Arsenal's top four race, where Tottenham got top four before them. And then last season, Brighton basically ended Arsenal's race for the title. Um, at the Emirates, 2-1 and 3-0 wins. Um, so, I want to say um, Brighton win, but Arsenal... They just seem to to get it done at times. They they know when to get it done. Um, so I'll go with a two one Arsenal win. Um, now we move to Aston Villa. Of course, Aston Villa are now five games without a loss, and Brentford without Embuemo, without Tony, they are struggling. Um, and of course they will struggle I think also in January um, when Visa also goes to the AFCON um, so yeah we'll see if Tony will be back for them of course there's lots of transfer rumours around them um, but they do have a good track on that against Aston Villa they haven't lost us against Aston Villa um, at at home um, and Aston Villa have only beaten them once, on um, I don't know, yeah, only beaten them once, and that game was last season um, at Villa Park four 0 Um, Aston Villa do they don't have the don't have the best record away from home, but they don't have a terrible record. Only lost three games: Newcastle, Liverpool, and Forest away from home. The rest have been red draws, which is Bournemouth. And Wolves, of course, that form of one. That first one, the, the main two, you look at and say, they don't really perform away from home. Um, but I just think 
brain fed. They don't really have that that sting in them, like the bees. They don't have that sting right now in them. Um, and Villa, at this stage, they just seem to know how to get the job done. They rested a few players, of course. Douglas Louise won't play in this one, suspended. But I'm going to go with a 2 1 Aston Villa win. Uh, now, West Ham play Wolves. And West Ham also um, having lots of problems with Moyes, of course. I don't think West Ham fans would want him sacked or think he will get sacked. Um, because they say he, he will get sacked and they never sack him. But it seems like he only trusts a certain group of players, about 12 to a 13 players he, he trusts, the rest he doesn't trust. Um, and that does not do well t with their confidence. Um, but they did win against Freiburg, big win, so they, they are top of their group in the Europa League. Um, Wolves, two games um, they have played uh, recently, of course, the last what, um, five games, two ones and one draw, but they have had a dip um, in form with a few injuries and a few suspensions. I think they can get something away um, at West Ham, but... They don't have the best record. The last time they beat them was 2020 um, and 2018. Lockdown time. So I'll go with a 2-1 for a stamp win. Um, of course, the next one is the big one. It's Liverpool against Manchester United. Liverpool. Um, what, four. Eight. 10 games without a loss, um, United beat Chelsea, lose to Bournemouth, lose to Bayern, don't really put a fight up against Bayern, um, yeah, I think this game doesn't scream to me 4-5, no, I think Liverpool, of course they got um, Wednesday in the Cup or Tuesday, they've got West Ham at home. So I think they will just keep it professional. 2-0, two, 3-0 two, no, no win. Um, and just keep it moving. I don't really think United will attack. They got a few injuries and suspensions as well. Um, of course, Bruno suspended. Uh, Maguire um, and Luke Shaw are injured. So I reckon Liverpool will win. But... They'll keep it, it will almost be like that Bayern game, like, it wasn't a battering in terms of scoreline, but it was just calm, professional, don't take much risk, risk type performance. So 2-0 no, Liverpool. So yeah, that's all the games done, let me know of your score predictions in the comments below, um, and yeah. Hopefully it's a good weekend of football. Hopefully I get to win. Um, the, the first one in a long time for Chelsea. Um, so yeah, but be up yourselves, people. See you all in a bit. Cheers.